Hello guys and welcome to another one with Auditon Lancashire on this lovely afternoon but there is a big police presence here in town and it's not normally like this in town as we see we've got a Skoda there look at that little project there the old old Ford police van. We have the PCS wall car. We've also got another Skoda there. We've got a constable on the phone. To that we've also got the rural community vehicle. And then a big police van here. Hello, Constable. How come big police present in town? There's a uh, march on, mate. Oh, that protest? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be covering protest. Um, nice. Big, bigger um, police presence today, though, aren't they? It's not too bad. Yeah. Are, are they all, are they um, expecting any counter protesters and stuff like I that? I haven't a clue. I've not started yet. Mm. So you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> not a problem. We <laughs> all got um, a nice. Like truck vehicle there. I think that's got like the play Xboxes and stuff like that in it. I'm not too sure. I think that could be the longer one because there's a, a bigger one to this. You know, I've got the um, another PCSO car there. Got one of them with the lights on it. Which is the older one. And then you've got this. Which is the newer one. All the old vehicles, well, a few of them anyway. Then we've got the police jeep here. Look at this, guys. Yeah, there's loads of units compared to last time. Absolutely loads. I've got one of them hiding away. And if we we'll just look over here, we've got three riot vans. Got a few of the um, riot vans here. Two, three. So yeah, big police presence. Presence. So we'll pick it back up and we'll get some action, guys. Oh, what's coming out there now? As you can see. Quite a few. Obviously, all waiting. This uh, Palatine protest to start. Oh yeah, there is um, a big police presence today. Quite a big police presence, as you can see. Good afternoon. I'll do, I'll do.
We've got the other liaison officer there as well. And we've got the liaison officers, I think. Yep. No cover jumping in undercover. And the undercover. Couple more coming up there. They're all going to be going off, situated all around. Yeah, there is quite a lot. All right, Jed. Not too bad. Um, leaving that one there and then walking over to there. We have we've got our Jade Hutchinson just there. Got the two, um, we've got the two um, liais, liais on opposite. Just there. They're going to be heading up there. Last few's um, located there, so we're going to go and have a walk around now. This is the forgotten bridge of Fenniskulls. It's this beautiful structure, as you can see there. It was once a working train line, believe it or not. So even from this side, which still doesn't tell you anything on the structure. There should be a plaque on the structure to tell us what this bridge is and what it used to be. Welcome to today's journey, where we will be adventuring through them gates right there. See what hidden secrets lurk beneath the ground. So here we would have had a gatehouse of some sort. Let's go and have a look behind it. So here you can see it's all been bricked up from the front. They're quite um, smart there, look at them. So as you can see from the back side of it, it's all bricked up, door would have been there. Yeah, There's um, nothing else left inside here now, 
but all the ruins. Got the wall in over there. So this obviously looks like the gatehouse. What leads into here? Let's go and have a further look. So there we are guys, we just got over right next to this lovely little stream going through the woods. So I thought I'd slow it down to have a closer look at the detail on that rock. CCTV in operation 24 hour recording in process. No trespassing. Violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Alright guys, let's get into it. So we're going to take a explore around the grounds before we take a look underground and see what hidden secrets lurk beneath the ground inside there. Well, let's go take a look around, shall we? Kind of looks like somebody has been having a barbecue. It looks like somebody has been having a campfire. You know, look at this beautiful old ruins that date back to the 1800s. So this was actually owned by the Fielding family. If you want to know any information about them, you can put in Fenniscoe's Old Hall into Google and it will come up and tell you everything about it. So here, you won't be able to see nothing, just some bushes, but there's actually some old steps inside there that would have led down the steps when this was all up and beautiful back in the day, looking out your window to that beautiful, beautiful view. And you would have had your steps, as I say, won't go down and we'd look over the little river that passes by. So we'll go and have a look inside and I'll show you when we get in, guys. So it's kind of tricky to get in. There's the front. We just have to crawl down. Underneath these bushes. Look at that, guys. Some very, very old steps. It's that old. There's a tree actually growing out of the steps. Yeah, there you go. See the pillars going down the side of the steps. It's done then. All this would have been nice and clear, beautiful view, and you would have been able to see the stream going right down. So there we have the stream at the bottom of these old, forgotten, abandoned steps leading to. The old hall, just in the background. So 
So let's go and check around the back. You see, it's a lot overgrown now. All this stuff is uh, taking over everywhere. Yeah, so there isn't just this, there's about another two different ruins on this site. So here, we are actually inside, as you can see, no taken over, and you will notice a few holes in the floor, one just there, what leads underground, where we're going to explore, and another one, just down there, let's get a bit closer. So what a fantastic time to come down to create the video around sunset to last light. Beautiful, peace, quiet. Look at that one there guys. Now that hole here splits off into two. You go down a hole that way and you go underground here, all the way around, big massive tunnels, corridors should I say, it's mad. This side boxes off into some old rooms. That one there's the crappiest one, but we'll still go down it and I'll show you what's in there. It's just a wall at the end, it's nothing special, you're just in and out of that one. But that's your main, that's your main one right there guys. And yes, we're gonna go down it. And have a look. So I'll pick it back up when we get inside. First, we're gonna go in the crap one. You can see the hole that we just climbed through. I mean, yeah, this would have been used maybe for like some storage place. So as you can see in the walls there, this is just like Square units. So yeah, there's not really much in this one. Just this little, little square section with a load of square units all around. So I'm thinking it must have been some kind of storage place, maybe. As you can see. So we're gonna get out and get into the best one people. Stay tuned. So here as you can see there's a room there which um, goes off to the right. So we're gonna get down there and there's also this section here which is another separate route, you can't get through it any other way but down that tiny little wall and I mean tiny <sighs> what do I do for content for you guys people so first we're going to go down here and have a look so I'm going to get back to you and there we have it inside of the tunnel there's a separate tunnel there where you've got to get through as well 
which is a bit annoying, which leads you to the other side of them um, steel boys. Look at that, looks like an old jail cell. Damn. Well, let's get into here then, shall we? Down here. Look at that. Yeah, look at this thing, guys. Looks like some kind of fireplace thing there. And then we've got hooks on the roof. You see? Then leads off there into another room. Yeah, some more steel bars there, look at that. Which leads down onto some old shelf. And then some unit underneath. At first it looks like a fire pit. Um like but it's not. Strange that. Yeah, so we didn't bring our Zeus here on this exploration due to being an underground one. I didn't want him to breathe in no fumes from down here and kind of have to put a face mask on him. You know. So look at that. Someone's been down here and done a bit of graffiti work. And someone's been down here, done a bit of graffiti work. Looks like there's an opening there. Can you see? We can get out. But it's too small so you can't get out there whatsoever. Yeah, you know, look at that. Underground, finish goes all to all. And Gaz, 08. A little shout out there from 08. And you know, the, all the floor has been like ripped up and stuff. Look at it. Looks a mess. That's an old archway on that door though, look at that. Beautiful archway. All this lurking beneath the ground. And fennis goes. On the fennis goes all the hall. Crazy. Absolute crazy guys. So, let's go and have a look in this tunnel over here, behind that boy there, so we're going to have to squeeze down that hole now, so you're going to have to bear with us again. Look at that, hooks up wall. Kind of, um, I don't know. Look at that long gas tunnel down there. I think a little section it wall here. With some kind of like storage, maybe. And this room here is some more hooks on the wall. Look at some of the little graffiti around it. Look at that. Repent or die. How crazy is it down here, guys?
かな。turn back。We're not allowed to go down there, guys. We have to turn back. What's lurking behind that corner? There's only one way to find out. Look at that. Crazy, yeah, guys. Literally, underground finish goes all down. Nice, nice exploration. This beautiful sight. Look at that. Damn. So I've covered the underground. I've showed you around the outside of it. So let's move on or get out of here. Yeah, crazy guys. So I'm gonna get out and then I'll pick it back up. So now that we're out, we are going to travel up there and we're going to pick it back up because there's something inside there so as we walk up the old cobbly path we come to some more little ruins here in the woods now it's a bit too small so I can't really say what this is but I do believe it could and may have been like a stable bit where the horse and carriages where the horses may have been. I'm not too sure though, you can't, can't quote me on that one. Oh well, yeah. Have a look around it. As you can see, it's nothing big or major here. Just like a little square building. So that's why I thought it might have been the stables leading down Cobbley Road to the house so just a little skin from the back of it like I say it's nothing major nothing big this one so we're going to move on to the next one and there we have the last section of the Finnis Goals Old Hall look at that as we say it don't look like much but it's quite a nice ruin from the other side now when you're on the bridge over that side you wouldn't expect them to be so nice ruins behind here you just think a little outhouse thing there but it is quite nice so let's get a bit closer and have a look look at that the old steel gate still here Got pillows as well so this would have been another gatehouse, as we've seen at the beginning of the video. And then this would have been a second one. But this one's a lot bigger and then the other one, and a lot nicer. Hmm. You're a bad way there, guys. As you can see, that's the way that we came from Finnish Goals Old Hall. And then the other gate house right on the other side where we locked the bike up. As you can see, there's the window bricked up. And look at that.
beauty lovely old ruins that wouldn't expect all that to be around this side of that bridge yeah look at that it's crazy that beautiful that isn't it nice old steps Oof, come inside this bit here nothing too major just nice and small but yeah we like it people we like it up out the window beautiful beautiful little view of the bridge and the stream below look at that nice